What is going on everybody? It is the Walkthrough King and a new update for Fortnite just dropped. So as usual, we got to check out everything new in this update and show you guys everything there is for this, including all of the leaks. If you guys are new here, definitely recommend subscribing and joining our amazing community. As well as if you guys want to support the channel, a like on this video would be appreciated. Now with that out of the way, let's get right into things. So this update was the... Basically, this year's Winterfest update, they're calling it something else other than Winterfest, but for Save the World, they are actually calling it Winterfest. In the map right now, you can see a lot of point of interest have different Christmas-themed objects added to them, and a lot of houses are now Christmas-themed as well. So really, really cool to see. Love the Christmas vibes. One of the best times of the year, I gotta say. Anyways, getting right into things as well here. So here are the patch notes that Epic always emails out to creators. Now this is not basically, it only covers the surface of everything. We're going to go even deeper with this update, but quickly covering this. Snowmando is now in the map. I do have a guide up currently on the channel on how you find Snowmando. And you can actually get a snowball launcher from him that's an exotic weapon. Pretty cool, definitely recommend checking that out. Operation Snowdown is basically this year's Winterfest, and that is going to be starting very, very soon, if not already when this video is live. And by completing Operation Snowdown, you'll get two free exclusive outfits. Fortnite does not give out exclusive outfits too often, so you can earn two free exclusive outfits for this Christmas event. I'll show those off later on in this video. We also have a brand new weapon, the Cowboy Repeater Rifle. Not too bad, used it a little bit in game. It's actually pretty good. We have the Dragon's Breath Sniper Rifle as well, and the new Exotic Snowball Launcher. There's also some new options for console players, as well as some new options for PC players. And a new LTM Spy Within will be dropping very, very soon as well. So that is everything in the Creator Patch Notes. Let's move on and see everything there actually was with this actual update. So we have two Christmas-themed loading screens. Here is the first one right here. And here is the second one. This one we actually seen at the end of the leaked trailer that was posted out before. Moving on, we have a new bundle. This looks really, really cool, these new skins right here. I gotta say. Let me know what you guys think of everything we see in this update as well, including with these skins too. Here's another new bundle. Gives me like those 80s vibes. We have a brand new Frosty Legends bundle too. This is one of the skins that is coming in that. Here's another skin that's coming to the item shop. Blinky, not a part of that set. Here's the other two skins a part of the Frost Legends set. We have Snowheart and Snowdrift. Then we also have another skin which has three separate styles. This skin actually looks really, really cool. It has a minty style right there. And then another style right here. This is the elf skin. I might actually cop this skin. If you guys do cop any of these new skins that are coming to the item shop, code it TWK Nick if you're not using anybody else's code. We also have Cozy Jonesy. This is actually really cool looking. I might cop that one myself. Here's a image of the bundle itself with all the things a part of it. There's also a mech structure skin that is going to be dropping for Save the World. Kind of like how they get their usual packs that you could buy with the skin in V-Bucks. We also have the Globe Shaker Mint Style, the Mint Ornament Style, and the Backboard Hidden Roll. Brand new style. Here are all of the new skins. And I will have a video in just a moment showing off all of the new skins in game too. More of the loading screens. We also have some new wraps that were in the game, Confetti. No steel. And if I'm going too fast, feel free to pause on any of these since none of this is animated. Sonic Glow. Frosty Visions. This one looks pretty cool, I gotta say. Here's the lever action rifle along with these stats for it. And before we get out of these skins, let's quickly show you guys all of these skins real quick. Here, credit to Hypex are all of the skins in game. I will have in the description all of the leakers. There are Twitters, 
So any of the leakers that I did use information from, all of their Twitters will be linked in the description. Definitely recommend checking those guys out and giving them a follow. Let me know what you guys think of all these new skins in game though. They got some pretty interesting skins for this year's Winterfest. I'm assuming that's the Save the World skin right there, but I could be wrong on that. Here's the one that we saw from that leaked trailer. Snowbell right there, that's the elf skin that I was just talking about. Definitely gonna have to cop that one. And then we have Jonesy there at the very end. Going right back into things, lever action rifle, the stats right there. We have a bunch of new achievements that you can get. One is for using thumbs down in the Emperor's box at Colosseum. Another's for eliminating opponents with every weapon at Hunter's Haven. Every weapon type. Another is playing a match as Kratos, and then playing a match as Master Chief in Season 5. Moving on, we have the Snowy Flopper. I'm assuming this will just give you cold feet by the description. Got cold feet? Now you do. We also have the Sneaky Snowmando, which disguises a bomb. Or I guess it's, uh, it's basically the snowman. By the description, I was thinking it was going to be a bomb. But uh, it looks like it's just the snowman. Here's the big chill. I do have a guide up on getting this on the channel. That'll be linked in the description. Not the greatest weapon. I'd probably recommend not actually getting this, but it is there. The Dragon's Breath Sniper. The other weapon. Here's the stats too. And moving on, we have some new music packs. The Frosty Serenade. The Merry Mix. Flip Reset. Here are some new gliders as well. All these added this update. And a brand new Contrail Baker's Dozen. There was also a ton of skins that had updated icons. So, a lot of the stuff that you are seeing on the screen right now, I know it's kind of tiny, but a lot of these things could return to the item shop at any time in the future. And they are just updated for the new in-game menus. We also have the Black Panther Challenge Pack that's going to be dropping soon as well. Maybe we'll get a Black Panther skin, I'm not sure. There is a emote for sure, and I will have gameplay at the end of this video for that emote. But we might see Black Panther as a skin in Fortnite, not too sure on that. As of right now, a emote is guaranteed for that though. Here's another icon relating to that. The planes are going to be returning. So far, they are in an LTM of Air Royale, which is available live right now. Not sure if they'll be unvaulted for the rest of the season, but with them having the helicopters vaulted now, I could see planes being unvaulted. Here's a brand new wall trap that'll be added into Save the World at some point soon. And this is indeed the Mech Structor skin pack that you could buy for Save the World. We have a new lobby background. This might not be available immediately when you load up in-game, but this will be dropping very, very soon. Here is the icon for the Black Panther emote. And here are the challenges for the Black Panther. I'm assuming you'll get the emote for free for doing all these challenges. Here's the Spy Within challenges, some more new challenges that were just added in with this update. We also have the Operation Snowdown challenges. Moving on, Victory Royales are now Winter Royales, so if you do win in a match, it is now Christmas and Winter themed. Apparently, according to Fire Monkey, Trio bot lobbies have been added. There's also going to be a new LTM upcoming called Shockwave, which basically you just shoot enemies, and instead of it hurting the enemies, it knocks them back, and the goal is to knock players into the storm and take them out that way. There's a snow version of the map that is going to slowly start to show in-game. As of right now, the snow version of the map is not available. However, as we go throughout winter, we should see the map slowly be taken over by snow, as you can see from this mini-map image right here that was leaked. The Psycho Bandit has been updated to the Gaming Legends series. We do have some encrypted sets as well. Gravel Aloof, Rubbish Mouse, Gate Uncle, Lean Scale, and Average Disc. So a lot of encrypted sets. Since the Walking Dead skins are dropping tomorrow and the, those were not shown off by leakers so far, one could assume that one of these sets is a codename for the Walking Dead skins. 
There's also now haptic feedback for PS5 players on the PS5 controllers. The charge shotgun rate has been nerfed in all loot drops. Gold currency now also drops in higher numbers. And the rest of the sets, not including the encrypted ones, is Twinkle Team, Gleam Team, Fresh Powder, Frost Legends, Edge Factor, Dandy Cane, Cold Snap, and Coco Commando. Here's some more icons for the weapons that did drop with this update. Scrolling through some more leaks here. We have a bunch of new creative prefabs. So we have the old Gus chapter one racing area prefabs. And we also have the agency prefabs it looks like. As well as some of the uh, different restaurant prefabs. And then we have the week three quests. Here's the legendary quest for it. Here are the regular quests. We also have the week four regular quests and the week four legendary quest going on further we even have the week five quests so we might not see another update for quite a while if they have this many weekly quests added in ahead of time who knows and the week six quests as well i do hope that this isn't the case because that's pretty much four weeks without another update if they do go by that and usually in the past, we wouldn't see them push out another update when there were still available quests in game. They usually like to add all the quests and then just chill for a while. So I hope that's not the case, but that could be the case. And then Snowmando is an NPC in the map along with Nor, but Nor is not available on the map right now. Snowmando is, and I do have a guide up for him. Nor is coming to the map very, very soon though. And the two free winter skins that we will be getting are Snowmando for completing all the challenges as well as Frost Squad. So those are the two Winterfest skins that we get this year. Not bad looking skins. I got to say. When you load up in game as well now, you'll get 50,000 XP for free. A gift from Epic Games. This was basically because of that glitch for XP and then they disabled discovering locations for a period of time. So that is their gift to give back to everybody. There are some new voice lines from Lexa for killing IO guards. And then here is the new Wakando Forever emote right here in very low quality, but it is still the new emote right here. In less than 144p quality. And then there is some save the world and creative news as well. And sounds for the snowstorms have been added in, so I'm assuming snowstorms are going to be coming back and showing up randomly as we go throughout the rest of the season. Or maybe just throughout the rest of the winter, I'm not sure. But I will have in the description link the Save the World news article as well as the Creative News article as well. So if you guys want to check that out, you guys can do so. In I will also have the bug fixes link in the description too so if you guys want to see all of the exact bug fixes that did happen for this update that'll be available there too if i did go through these articles this video would be way too long but that's basically this update right now there may be a bunch of encrypted stuff that we see later on throughout this update but for now it seems like that is the gist of things until they update the game again let me know what you guys think of this update so far is there anything that you guys really like out of this are you guys disappointed with this update did you guys want anything more let me know i'm interested to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on how fortnite is evolving and how the game goes Anyways, that's it for this update. 15.10 in the bag. I'm out for now. This has been the Walkthrough King, and we'll see you guys at the next video. Oh, and before I say peace, if you guys do want to join our Discord server, that is where I pull all of the leaks from every single time there's a new update. So if you guys just want to stay on top of the updates and not wait for a video, that is where I pull it out, out from in our Discord server. But anyways, I'm out. We'll see you guys at the next one. Peace. peace.